Massive Metro. The Takeover with Tim You were talking about how important it is to understand the business side of things and you did mention that you have a team and you are hands-on and your team can really handle you sometimes because you know everything. How important it is to go to school and what skills do like these young people that want to be part of this music industry or want to be in the music industry, what skills should they, how would you advise them? Because sometimes you really want to do something, but yeah. number one, the subjects that you have to take, is there, yeah. you know, space for us musicians? Is yeah. a space for, you know, um, creative people? Yeah. We yeah. don't have a lot, really, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, look, I, like, first of all, when I came out of high school, I went to UCT. Mm-hmm. I was supposed to do a PPE, politics, philosophy, economics. Um, <laughs> that didn't work out for me. Okay. So I dropped out of UCT. I went to AAA School of Advertising. Mm-hmm. I studied brand management. Graduated. Mm-hmm. After that, went to the School of Arts. Studied jazz. After that, went into the game. And then after that, I went to Vega. And I did my honors um, in strategic... <gasps> Rasta <Rastajay Doc>. mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> And I studied um, strategic uh, communications. And I feel like you know, taking all of those subjects, because you know, under everything, there's a lot of subjects, you know. I took all of that and applied it really to my life. And I think a really big issue I have with institutions is that they make people study these unrealistic subjects that don't really in do real anything. Life, you want, yeah, you do can't anything do anything. For me. And yeah. that's how, you know, I ended up in institutions like your triple A's, your Vegas, your creative institutes, you know, that I felt I could take whatever I learned and turn it into a reality. So I always thought to myself, if I combine real knowledge, book smarts and street smarts, I can do this. Yeah. So I would say to young people, don't follow what, I know it's hard, but don't follow what other people tell you to do. Yeah. Do you follow you? Because at the end of the day, you got to look yourself in the yourself. mirror Absolutely. and be like, mm, I follow it, it and it's not even my passion. Not? Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Follow Maybe your passion and do whatever it takes. takes yes. And you have it. a news reader under your belt. I you do. have a radio presenter under your belt. Yes, I yes. do. I do. Was it always it was always a plan for you to have all of that as a backup or are you using it? Um, What's happening? Or you decided, you know what, I'm just gonna put it aside yeah. until, you know, I need it. You know, I, I, I went to on communications and I, you know, studied presenting. I studied uh, the radio course and I did all of those things. It's like working in PR. I worked yes. in a PR agency for a while. Mm-hmm. Every single thing that I've done up till now is to prepare me for my future. Right. Um, If I get a phone call and somebody says, I'd like to see if Lady X can uh, come and do a slot at at Massive Metro. Metro, yeah. I have no fear. I can do it. You can do it. There is nothing under the entertainment umbrella I can't do Do. because I have prepared for it. For it. Yes. And therefore, I'm saying to the universe, Dim law. Yeah. There's nothing I can't do. You have your own record label. Yes. B- a baby, 2017 baby. Yeah. How is that going? Is oh a God, future so like plans so to hard. sign other young artists um, or vocal training, business training? Yes. What is happening? Okay, well, you know, having your own label is not glorious. Easy. Yeah. It is it's a responsibility. It's a responsibility. Yeah. It's really, really hard. So what I want to do with my record label is first things first, I'd like to make sure that I, the you know, the mother, yes, is a success. Yeah. Before I focus on I want to sign this person, I want to sign that person, you I have to feel I need to become the flag for it. Yes. Because who else is better to use as a guinea pig rather than myself? Mm-hmm. And from there, I'm definitely going to be giving back to the sisters out there because I'm all about black girl magic, black girls rocking and black girls doing it because we can. can. Yes. So I'm probably, you know, when Lady, well, she has launched now the new brand new Lady X, make her. So is that the your name of your record label? No, no, no the, the, the Testo, t- 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 Testo Records, because I've kind of stood the test 
of all times. Oh, that's where he's coming. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. So all right. Testo is definitely my baby, and we're gonna see where it goes. But I'm definitely looking it's at definitely giving flourish. back to the community, yes. especially Black females, in any form possible. Wishing you all the best of luck. Only on Massive Metro. Metro.